Hello everyone! Today we have another M.2 SSD from Patriot Viper and basically as the title says we're going to talk about the Patriot Viper VPR100 RGB M.2 NVMe SSD. This is one terabyte sample and uh, well it's generation 3 if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Let me just check. Uh, generation 3 times 4 the read and write speeds are uh, 3300 uh, and the write speed is well the read speed is 3300 and the write speed is up to 2900 uh, it's actually really fascinating to me because i really like the design and it's not only because you know people tend to say that ssds with rgb uh, tend to have problems with overheating which is true I can't deny that it's true but in this example it's completely different and we're going to test that but looking at, well, let me just take it out of the box and let me just show you quickly so if we're taking into consideration that usually SSDs that have RGB have full body of RGB on it then it takes uh, a different kind of meaning because it kind of makes sense that it heats up and makes problems uh, even even though it, it would be a better solution if they have separated P PCB boards for let's say for memories and for the uh, RGB for the lights but here you don't have a complete uh, SSD full of RGB nonsense uh, you have one strip up here you have one strip down here and you have the Patriot Viper logo here that also lights up so taking that into consideration I would say it doesn't heat up and it doesn't make any problems with um, transfer rates and it doesn't slow down but we'll test that and let's do it right now I'm going to plug this VPR 100 into the motherboard and we're going to run uh, three tests and I'm going to have a special program that measures the temperatures to see actually does it affect the speeds honestly I don't think it will but let's go So with Autodesk Benchmark you've seen the temperatures, I don't think it passed 60 degrees and the speeds were really interesting. But let's talk about temperatures first and, and then we will go to uh, the speed test. With Crystal Disk Mark uh, the temperature actually went to 64, 65 or something like that, which isn't something to actually worry about those are kind of normal temperatures and you do have to take into consideration that they actually placed a passive cooler here uh, so it kind of cools the LEDs and it cools the chips on the SSD so that is really cool kind of combination which looks and functions really nicely in auto disk benchmark it says here uh, up to three 
3300 megabytes read on auto disk benchmark it's uh, 3.18 so that's like 120 megabytes less and when it comes to write speed it's 282 283 if i'm not mistaken uh, here it says 290 so yeah uh, as the auto disk benchmark shows it's quite all right in crystal disk benchmark uh, the vpr 100 actually scores even better uh, then it says it says here up to 3300 I mentioned that already but at this bench benchmark uh, achieved 3400 uh, megabytes per second read and write was 3000 uh, megabytes per second write so in both read and write uh, SSD achieved 100 megabytes more than it says right here so it's quite a write the design is stunning as the same and you can see the pictures from up close and the videos how it uh, changes colors really nicely this is really cool product uh, you have from 256 gigabytes to 2 terabytes NVMe PCI Express RGB Gen 3 times 4 uh, what does it say here also that's about it also what I need to add it uh, it has a Fison E12 uh, controller it it has an external thermal sensor and it has the aluminium housing so that kind of makes sense so guys yeah this is it basically there's nothing left to talk about we have uh, everything covered up from the controller to the uh, speeds temperatures the RGB you've seen the RGB so if that is something that interests you this is basically it so yeah that's all there is to it for today guys i'll put the links below for the vpr 100 this is the patriot wiper uh, m.2 nvme ssd from with one terabyte you have it from 256 gigabytes to two terabytes you can choose whatever you wish and well basically that's all there is to it thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye